What's your name, bro? Darion. Darion? That's cool. Huh? I said that's cool. Are you a football player? I I was injured for the season. But you play football, huh? That's cool. I can see that. Uh, let me ask you, bro. What do you think the purpose of life is? Just to make the most of it, basically. I just if you don't make the most of life, I don't I don't think it's like worth it. To be honest. You don't think it's what? I don't think like you should just always make the most of your life and make the best decision of it. So try do things and do different things like like travel places. Yeah. How old are you? Fifteen, about to be sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Cool, that's cool, bro. So you said it's to make every to make it worth it, right? So what injury did you get? Was it on your knee? It was like a, it was like a neck based injury basically. It was it was while I was like bike riding and it was like I hurt my neck. So they didn't let me do it when I had the doctor's office. So they just let me. Are you middle linebacker? Yeah. Middle linebacker? Huh. Are you're not you're not wondering like how do you know that? I don't know. Why? Do you do you believe in Jesus Christ? A little, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So have you given him your life? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. You believe so? So do you know what the Bible says to receive eternal life? No, I do, I'm not that versed in the Bible. I'm I'm not, I'm not a horrible reader, to be honest. But yeah. uh, do you go to church? Um, I tend to. I may be busy some days. Yeah. But yeah, I try. So let me ask you, bro. So we, we're living, we're living in a, we're living in a in a day and an age right now, bro. Where where nothing nothing is for sure. Where, bro, Jesus can come back at any second. Literally, like like Bible prophecy is being fulfilled right before our eyes. And I don't say that to scare you. I just say that because the Bible says to discern the time of the signs. We need to know the hour that we're living in. You know what I'm saying? Because if we don't, then what if we get caught with our hands in our pockets? You know what I'm saying? When we need to have our hands up, praising the Lord. And see, there's an invitation for you today, bro. I, I really, I truly feel this, bro. Like the Lord has shown me just a little bit about your life. You know, that you, you play football. Like, bro, how am I supposed to know that? You know what I'm saying? You, and not only that, but you, you play middle linebacker, you know? And, bro, the Lord is showing me those things because he wants you to know that he's really amongst you, that he really sees you. You know what I'm saying? And, and bro, I, God has got a lot of, he's got a lot for you. He's got big plans for your life. You know, I actually see you preaching the gospel. I really do. You, 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 when you speak, you speak with your chest you you know what i'm saying you're the type of person like tell me if i'm wrong you're the type of person though when you do something you're all the way in right or am i wrong I'm always, i always try to do the I always try to go all the way in never out yeah. and i see that bro you have like this determination about you and i'm telling you bro have you ever had an encounter with jesus christ i feel like i have but i don't i don't want to say what it felt like because it's very personal to me was it love did you feel love yeah, yeah? I felt accepted and loved for who I was. Yeah. That's good. Why? Because he, he, he accepts us and he loves us, bro. And he just wants the best for us. He wants us to know him. To know him. Not know his name, but to know him. He want, You know what I'm saying? Because like your mom, right? You know, you know your mom. Like you know what her favorite color is. You know what kind of flowers she likes. You know what time she goes to bed. You know what hurts her. You know what doesn't, right? You know how to make her happy and you know how to make her angry. Right, and, and the same thing with God. He wants you to know Him. That's an intimate word. That word "know" in the Bible is is about intimacy. And bro, God is calling you into into a deeper place of intimacy with Him. Bro, He wants to meet you every single day when you go when you pray. He wants you to pray, and He wants to meet you every single day. You know what I'm saying? Because He has more for your life. You're a bright young man. You know what I'm saying? You're very smart. You're very you're very uh, you're very gifted. And the Lord wants to bless the gifts that he's put on your life. You're really good at math, right? Uh, kind of. I can do, it depends on like what's the subject. Like algebra I can't do, but I can do simple addition. Oh, okay. I thought I seen, I thought I seen you, you doing math, like you're good at math. But, but nonetheless, bro, like I just want to leave you with this, bro, that Jesus has so much more for you. He really does. And, he want, and he's, today he's asking you, he's asking you, would you come into a deeper relationship with him? Because he wants to, he wants to meet you every single day. He's asking you, would you give him more of your time? Would you give him more of your heart? Could you do that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have a church? Um, not currently, cause we recently moved. Where do you live? Um, near El Grove. 
Okay, so you live over there. All right. Well, bro, let, I want to encourage you, bro. Find a good church. Find a church. Submit yourself there. Serve in the church. Follow Jesus. And watch what he's going to do in your life. Can I pray for you? What's your name one more time? Darion. 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 That's right. I want to ask the Holy Spirit to encounter you right now. Okay? Right? Can I put my hand on your shoulder? Just receive. Just close your eyes and just receive. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would encounter Darion today. Lord, I pray that you would fill him right now in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, let him be filled with the Holy Spirit. I just pray, Father, for the injury that is that has been in his neck. Father, I ask that you would heal that injury in his neck. Lord, I pray that, that he would go to the doctor's office and that everything that they, they diagnosed him with would be reversed right now in Jesus' name. I ask for healing on his neck, healing on his spine right now, Father. All the tendons, all the ligaments, all the joints, all the bones be strengthened in Jesus' name. Right now, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Right there, Holy Spirit, fill him right now. Lord, let him, play, let him play football. Let him play basketball. Let him lift weights, Father. Let him do squats, Father, with the weight on his neck, Lord, and have no pain. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Right now, touch him, Holy Spirit. Did you have pain before? Did, uh, did no, you? A little, yeah. Do you have pain now? No. No. So that pain went away? Yeah, I feel like yeah, I did. Yeah? Yeah. I want to encourage you, bro. Go back to the doctors and, and see what they say. Okay. Hey, but like seriously, go like that. Do you, do you feel pain? No, not at all. <laughs> Give Jesus glory, bro. He just healed you. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. He has a lot more for you. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you for your time. Amen. Okay. Yeah.